MoveIt is the best option for locomotion on the marketplace if you want to make your life easy and your game pretty. Whether it's multiplayer or single player, shooter or adventure, or anything you can imagine, MoveIt can do what you need it to. Ease of integration, with lots of documentation and tutorials, with a highly active support Discord. Using semi-procedural animation cuts back on requirements, making believable results accessible to indie developers, and provides a superior result for all developers. Move it takes full advantage of multi-threaded animation, as well as the prediction system, so you get synchronized results in multiplayer, you get fast, stable and performant animation which competing assets generally do not offer. More than anything, MoveIt is built to be easily extended into anything you want and to just work properly, so you don't need to fight against the system to get the system you want. Let's go over just a few of the features MoveIt offers. The procedural strafing and procedural gate nodes are MoveIt's implementation of orientation and speed warping which cuts down on the animation requirements and prevents limbs from clipping through walls while aiding natural start and stop motion. Move it only uses forward and back animations by default. The procedural strafing allows you to restrict the movement direction for games that are over the shoulder and you can toggle between them during gameplay. MoveIt can switch between movement systems on the fly, allowing for multiple movement types within the same game, whether it's event driven or input driven is entirely up to you. The view component is a powerful tool that adds a level of polish to all character state transitions and camera changes by providing always seamless blending, making it easy to set up weapon scopes, alternative cameras or event based cameras that show off vistas and everything in between. MoveIt features a weapon pose system to easily add weapons with their own unique poses and will switch between them seamlessly without requiring equipping or sheathing animations. It also places your character's offhand on the grip if desired and is very easy to set up. Characters interact well with the environment. They can change walk speed based on incline, walk backwards at different speeds, walk into other characters, walk into walls, scuff walls, and all this is affected by MoveIt's custom physical material. There is a procedural footstep system that can be used for any bone, so there is no need to go through every animation and set up animation notifies. MoveIt has one of the most feature-rich and cleanest turn-in-place systems you will come across and allows for forever keeping the character facing the screen for shooters. You can add as many or as few step sizes as you please, and there are editor tools included that will help a lot with setting this up. Unlike Wraith, Gideon's turning place does not require him to always be facing the screen. Procedural ducking allows characters to duck underneath a surface instead of clipping their head on an overhanging object, which frees up level designers to build believable and realistic worlds. MoveIt utilizes the prediction system to add sprinting, crouch running and floor sliding to the character movement system, which works seamlessly in multiplayer. Cycled movement allows for Mario or Zelda-esque movement where you run in a small circle instead of spinning on the spot, complete with pivoting for directional changes. There are many properties to customise this behaviour to your liking. Coyote time has been added to move it, 
So optionally, if you press jump milliseconds after falling off a ledge, you can still jump. Move it also implements a system dubbed bunny time, where if you press a jump button milliseconds before landing, it will still trigger a jump. This allows for highly responsive and fluid movement where jumping is concerned. They are commonly used in platformers, but will benefit any game. Move it comes with an orient to floor system. By default this is used for the floor sliding to keep the character oriented to the surface. However there are many properties that can affect how the system behaves. In this example we use it to mimic Mario's behaviour where he orients to the surface only while moving. Move it's foot OK is highly accurate. The pelvis also moves over to shift the weight if a foot is hanging off the ledge. Different IK settings can be used based on the state the character is in, which is easily extendable. A solution is included to prevent the capsule hanging in the air, where if the character is almost off or almost on a surface, they are nudged and this feels to the player like an extension of what is and what is not walkable, and they never see a floating character as a result. And finally, because we're out of time, and there are still so many features I'll just say, Move It is just plain clean. It's made for you to work with and doesn't work against you. Thank you for watching.